It looks like someone tried to wipe all the air crew records from the station, but a few couldn't be deleted. System shows the ones left behind were being accessed at the time of the wipe? Welcome to medical. Captured two days ago. Cared for them. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Once more into the bridge. Maybe we'll look at this before she wanders off. Message with Odin. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav, nav data is formatted for the Zenith AIs, not Garble. Bert's gonna be need to be able to use this stuff in real time when she's at the controls, so... Garble, navigation code itself, interpret the data and display its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to the pilot. Garble, expose the raw data for cross-reference if needed, yes. I understand. I'll prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone navigation control software and Garble. Emergency in effect. Cyrogenic facilities active. Two out of six cyropods occupied. Oxygen supply approximately 50 hours. Only two people in cyropods? Isn't there supposed to be four? Preferably all six? Message with Evie. No, it's okay. Don't worry about... But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know Garble not going to let you down. That's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to Garble. See you on the other side. This user is offline. So... Alright. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about... Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? E Evie and Clive. That's the two. Read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo and... Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second... They look so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking. And I just keep thinking... What if the last time they saw each other... Is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? <sighs> so... You know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was like general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Thinking about them isn't gonna help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too, yeah. then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> okay. I'm glad it it <laughs> that was the pause point. All right. That's actually kind of funny. In a sad way, I really hope these people made it. All right, so let's rewind it. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over next. 
see you over a mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. All right, let's look at this data. Okay, so the emergency. To all crew, Tacoma's remaining, to everyone left awake on Tacoma Station. Okay, so this is a from Andrew. I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the algae bloom and Evie and Clive going into Cairo, cryo, that counter should give you a pretty good garble. Keep an eye on it and garble. So I'm guessing it's this. Message with Nat. Hey ladies, your scan looked good and you're cleared for cryo. If God forbid garble into the pods. Attaching same standard instructions I sent along to Evie and Clive. Cyrogenic Sleep, a patient's guide. Venturous Medical Contractor's Manual. In the case of a medical emergency when surgical or other required medical facilities garble, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at garble. Preparation. Medical staff will scan you and determine an appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered by intravenous garble. Garble dosage of diuretics and laxatives and given time for your body to react to them before garble. Oh, that sounds fun. Medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facilities at your location are in microgravity, medical staff will have special training to garble. Okay. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know? What her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Hmm. Above all, do no harm. So, is that indicating that Nat, for some reason, is at higher risk of death? Yeah, you probably should have told her. Personally. I would want to know. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to cross at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam. I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support, and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo? I just realized... I'm the support that was sent here. By Venturus. Okay. I don't recall anything in this contract saying that there are people who might die if I don't get here. Because it's all about providing data transfer hardware and transport vessel. The transport vessel is for the AI. It's not for people. Oh, I hope that means that they're that this worked and they got out. Because if Ventura sent me here and there's people lying dead somewhere and I'm gonna find them, I am not going to be pleased. Oh. Well, actually, let's just. Well, no, go back a little bit further because I was too busy grossing. We're still stuck in cryo. Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start. Oh. 
certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, you just... It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. Ah, so you decided... It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Uh. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. And they both look over that way. Okay. Nicholas, love you both. Dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but garble accidental on the station. And if you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. And I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up, to be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together. But, garble don't forget me. Know that I loved you more than more than, I'm sorry, Odin, I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. Well, I will get this to them if I need to. Even if I'm not supposed to. If he did not make it. Station message. From, with Roberta. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air supply system, no onboard controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding. For human passengers. And I'm just gonna have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station and hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back to it. Sorry, thanks for buying us a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. Okay, a little bit of an info dump there. I w from Evie, prepping for cryo. Dear crew, I would rather not be writing this. Clive and I garble. Not why I wish I weren't... Not why I wish I weren't signing these words. It is because, above all, I believe in this crew, and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We will breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will feel the Earth's pull again, together. For now, Clive and I will do our part and settle into cryo. Soon Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat, we're all counting on you. Garble. Couldn't be in better hands. With love and gratitude, Evie and Clive. Andrew Garble information you requested. So this is from Odin. Answers to your frequently asked questions, Ventura's Contractor Handbook. While Ventura strives to ensure the safety of each of its contractors, occasionally accidents do happen. In the case that a contractor dies, Garble, transportation of remains and funeral arrangements are paid for by Venturis. Oh, how nice of them. Garble, loyalty and any additional Venturis accident insurance that the contractor has invested in are immediately transferred to the contractor's specified beneficiary. Compound loyalty, loyalty continues to accrue Garble contract term. Stay safe up there and Garble! It's everyone's job to keep contractors and employees safe. He... Yeah, he likes to worry about things. Alright, so let's see where you came from so we can... Ooh. I have a feeling I won't be able to... Yeah. Mm 
Odin, is Sarah ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. Welcome to medical. Pre please proceed to the exam room for your appointment. Happy Venturus, happy healthy Venturus. CM. Attending physician Sarah has Maddie MD. Like there would be somebody else doing it? It's a small station. Soothing sounds of Venturus radio. Personal quarters. Three months ago. <laughs> JJ Pratt's image life, life followers 2.4 million. This feed maintained in memory of JJ. He died three years ago. We miss you. Celebrating my last night on Terra Firma for a while. Love you, Charlene. Okay. That's what he ate. Singapore, home of the ultimate hangover food. On my way up, never thought I'd see the earth from this height. End of feed. Message with Odin. Unfortunately, the information you have requested is defined as classified by Venturus, so I'm unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I'm sorry, Sarah. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalie about this issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. What was she after? Message with Natalie. No, on another facility. Uh, like, if she was malfunctioning, or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about. I could try looking in VT's tech error to get backlog for any hits. Okay, Fountain of Paradise Medical AI about three years ago. Ah. Uh, that... Does that have something to do with this? Something to do with this person's death? Egg a day Odyssey to the Stars, Day 28, Spaceport City, Singapore, J.J. Pratt, September 1st, 2085. Garble. Excited to take my first ever trip up the space elevator to the Fountain of Paradise tomorrow. Yep, it has to do with him. The glitz, the glamour, the zero-G, it's going to be incredible, and all thanks to you, my loyal supporters. But first, I spent... that's the same picture. But first, I spent a day in the hustle and bustle of Spaceport City, the lively jumble of improvised bungalows, grey market vendors, and of course, those famous Singaporean food stalls that surround the space elevator's spectacular base tower. One last egg a day before I lift off from terra firma. Here we go. Kea Toast at Kea's Best Kopi House. While Toast takes the center stage in this classic Sim Singaporean street food name, food's name, the real star of the show is the pair of perfectly runny half-boiled eggs drizzled with garble. Slather garble and more good egg than dip liberally in the soft garble. Um, that doesn't sound very appetizing. So she was investigating, or trying to investigate, the what happened to this person? Okay. Post workout playlist, huh?
It'd be rather hypnotic, wouldn't it, to lay there and watch that? Alice Munro. Three books. Moon of Ju Moons of Jupiter. Runaway. Too much happiness. Is there a such thing? Toward a socio-mnemonic interpretation of the Quran? From GMO to Soy Pro. The Mathematics of the Mosque, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Surat el Bakwara, the Heifer. In the name of God, the Gracious, the Merciful. Alif Lam Mim. This is the book in which there is no doubt a guide for the righteous. Those who believe in the unseen and perform the prayers and give from what we have provided for them. And those who believe in what was revealed to you, and in what was revealed before you, and who are certain of the hereafter. These are upon the guidance from their Lord. These are the successful. Surat el Faitha. The opening. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. Praise be to God, the Lord of the worlds, the most gracious, the most merciful. Master of the day of judgment. It is... It is you we worship, and upon you we call for help. Guide us to the straight path. The path of those you have blessed, not of those against whom there is anger, nor those who are misguided. Feeling deeply, feeling truly the process of grieving, you knew JJ. Anxiety, anxiety in the body. I wonder if that's why she's having anxiety attacks. Is because of her um, mourning, the the you know the whole stress thing. Your your personal AR yoga instructor. The the downward dog. The warrior two. Okay, I think that that's fine. That looks like yoga things, perhaps. Five Sioux. Deep waters in the heavens, thunderclouds approaching from the west, but no rain yet. The superior person nourishes himself and remains of good cheer to condition himself for the mount moment of truth. Great success if you sincerely keep to your course. You may cross to the far shore. Changing one, changing line one to hex 48 the well. I Ching? Yeah, I, the Book of Changes. I, I Ching. Is it I Ching? It might be I Ching. And it looks like that's the only... Well, actually... Okay, so I don't see anything else in there. All right, let's look at the box. With love. Dear Sarah, we are thinking of you during this Ramadan, Ramadan, and hope you are celebrating or er, celebrating in your own way up there as well. Please give yourself permission to relax every once in a while during your posting. We love you, Mum and Dad. Ramadan Kareem. Are those chocolates or something like that? Could be. Gum? 
Okay, maybe this is the only kind of gum they can get here. Oh, no, no, no. What's that? Oh. What color did you... Blue-green remembered. I like that color. assume it's supposed to be like that and it didn't just die on her. Alright. Got storage. Ah, so that's where they were doing their thing. Vitamins. Pain relief. Oh, I think all these things got flung around in their moment of, uh, possibly last moment of, of a fun time. Secure medical stories, physician access only, physical locking device. Oh. Can we find the key? Okay, so that that's things to keep your hands sterile. What's this? No more daily vitamins. Pain relief, anti-allergy. Why? They sure went a lot of anti-allergy here. What the heck would be given so much allergies? Relieves on nausea due to microgravity. Yeah, yeah, that might be a thing. And that's the pain relief. All right, so there's got to be a key. Well, there doesn't have to be a key. It could have been taken away. Healthy contractor reminders. If you scheduled your quarterly medical bioscan, your health won't wait. A minimum of three hours of exercise per week is encouraged. A stronger you means a stronger us. You are what you eat. Be sure to review the current company dietary guidelines for your posting. Meeting company fitness and dietary targets can earn you a big loyalty point bonuses. Don't miss out. Contract your Ventura's contractor loyalty liaison for details. Physician office hours. The doctor is out. Medical office. It's probably in the medical office. We'll go in there in a minute. Hey, I don't remember... Hang on here. I don't remember a trash can in her personal quarters. Did I just miss it? Or was it empty? She didn't have one? Oh, wait. No, that's not it. We, didn't, we never looked in here. But there is no nothing out here. Oh, there we go. Book. A Mindful Life, an autobiography. Okay, wait, I'm not going to read all that. Volumetric clash. Line virtuoso. Stars, Cam, do not crush or chew. Working for your best health. Anti anxiety support. Well, we know she was having anxiety issues. going next. Right. Exam facilities. Okay, back to here. Okay. Hand wash station. Eye tests. Imaging.
Okay. Hi, bud. I presumably was not an ex-crew member. Recent body scans for medical staff, staff eyes only. Ooh, we need a passcode. Before we could look at that. Imaging. Aw, oh, this is where the pussycat was. During this time. The cat. Oh my god, I hope the cat made it too. I was just thinking. You can't put a cat in cryo sleep. Not unless you have... At least I don't think it's possible. AR Bioscan Procedure. Please remove any items in your pockets. No need to fully disrobe. Lie down on the scanning bed and relax. Please remain still during the scan. It should only take a moment. Facility medical staff will have your results immediately. Non-crew member profile detected. AR Bioscan not available. That's okay. I didn't really want to be scanned. Thank you very much. All right. So we need a key and and a uh, passcode, if we can find them. Merc Manual, 6th edition. Fatima al Firiz, the story of al the al Q University. Okay, so Fatima's vision, the story of al -Q's University. William collected earlier poems. Nutritional science, nutrition for fitness, principles of internal medicine, meditation for everyone, a deepness in the sky, Werner Vinge, expedition. Right. Oh, there's that picture. It's the same picture that Odin was showing Sarah. Hmm, nice. Ah, there's the key. Let's put it over here on the floor. That's her anti-anxiety meds. Yeah. Yeah. Drop it on the floor. More nail polish. Deepness in the sky. Gum. February 20th. Honestly, most of the pain has faded, but I can't say that I don't still feel guilty. It's just duller than it used to be, but it's still there all the time. Odin says this counts as grief, even though I never knew the patient when he was alive. I don't know how doctors don't deal with this. A lot of them have to, don't they? Most of them? Oh, so was JJ a patient? And something happened that she feels responsible for, even though for some reason it really isn't? Where'd that, where'd that go? There's a bottle. Where to go? Dang it. Oh well. Yeah, if I find the bottle, I'll put it back in there. I oh there it is. Dang it. Ventura's Belt. Ask your company rep about available contracting positions in this exciting new program that possibly didn't work out. Okay, so that's Sarah. Mm-hmm. 
Bioscan record pin updated. Contractor has Maddie. Thank you for updating your crew AR Bioscan records access code. Please enter a code reminder phrase for your future reference. Reminder phrase. Graduation. That's helpful, I think. From Ventura's Confidential Communications Department, subject renewal options. Contractor has Maddie. We would like to remind you that while your posting contract on Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma is currently up for renewal, there would be many more posting options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident of September 2nd, 2085 upon the Fountain of Paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there would be no further negative impact on you and your opportunities within Venturas would be significantly improved. Ah, uh, I'll take the renewal, thanks. So they were trying to get her to take blame and she thinks it might be the AI. And that's why she wanted more information about the AI. I understand. The Johns Hopkins University School of Med Medicine, upon the recommendation of the Faculty of Medical Science, has conferred upon Sarah Hasmati the degree of Doctor of Medicine in 2080. So she's been a doctor for 20 years, or 20 years, for eight years, and she was a doctor for five years of the time that the incident occurred with JJ. I can understand. I wouldn't be too keen to accept responsibility for something that wasn't my fault. Graduation. Oh, oh. 2080. That's the code. Gotcha. Oops. 2080. All right, so this is in the... Medical storage. Great. Why am I in here again? Anxiety. Really? Took his skull away? We're gonna put his skull back. Just because. It's not right. It's not right. He's, he's there sitting in his, his little cubby hole without his skull. That's just not right. Or her skull. I'm not sure not a real person. I'm sure it's like made out of plastic or something like that. Uh, where am I going? Right. Here. Okay. Okay. Ah. Venturis, September 15, 2086. Venturis settles with family of spaceport victim. Spaceport. Did he never actually make it into space? Following a lengthy independent inves investigation and court case, the Venturis Corporation has reached a settlement with the family of Jaden Jeremiah Pratt, who died during surgery for a fractured femur following an accident, accident aboard Venturis' fountain. Fountain of Paradise Spaceport on September 2nd, 2085. The value of the settlement was undisclosed. As part of the settlement's terms, Venturis admits no wrongdoing in the death of Mr. Pratt. However, significant public relations damage was already done by the incident. While OSEP's independent investigation was inconclusive, the attending surgeon at the time of Mr. Pratt's death, Dr. Sarah Hasmati, testified during multiple hearings that fault lay not in human error, but in the faulty judgment of Venturis's medical AI, HECA. Following these claims and the lack of refutation by OSEP's investigators, or invest, bah, let's try this again, 
Following these claims and the lack of refutation by OSEP's investigation, investor confidence in the reliability of Ventura's AI offerings declined sharply and hasn't fully recovered since. Dr. Hasmati was transferred off of the Fountain of Paradise spaceport shortly after the hearings began, and I'm sure that wasn't punitive in any way. Mr. Pratt was a popular travel and food writer, bringing his death and the subsequent hearings surrounding it Oh, bringing his death and the subsequent hearings surrounding it added attention from the public. Both the Ventures Corporation and Mr. Pratt's family declined to comment for this story. So she thinks it was the AI at fault. I, I, I want to put this... Can I, can I... Yeah, okay, we want to put that back. Interesting. It's. And I just keep thinking. I didn't realize that could be. Moved. Right. Oh, it was her personal quarters. That's right. That's Wait a minute. Where was the. Password needed. Personal quarters. No, we were already in here. Was there? Dang it. So involved in the story of these these people on the station. Wow! If I if I ever meet them in person, um, well, ah, this way. How do I explain how much I know about them? Dang it! I where where was this code for? it in a minute. I think I'm going to take a little mental break here because obviously I'm getting a little... I, can, uh, I can't take too long because that, that, that data's almost finished being collected. It's gonna bug me! Where is it? Okay. Amy, let's be very thorough. Let's go this way. This is the personal quarters. We've been in here. Here's the bathroom. That isn't normally locked. So it's not the personal quarters. Then there's the medical storage, of which there was just the lock there, which we already took care of. Took care of. That means it has to be the exam room where we need this code, right? Oh, I uh, now I remember. It's over here. It's this. What secrets are in here that's behind the code? I wonder. 